Hey guys, it's Leah Lilia here, and today I'm going to be starting a new game save file for Disney Dreamlight Valley. I previously had a game save for Dreamlight Valley that I had gotten pretty far into, but I wanted to restart so I could record and share my gameplay with you guys from the beginning. So I figured a fresh start was in order. But I'm gonna go through, create my avatar really quick. That way we can get started with the introductory quest. I'm gonna be breaking these let's plays up into parts, probably mainly consisting of quests or like activities like foraging or something like that. But just kind of trying to organize and maintain thematicism at the same time. So be aware when you put blush on your character that it is much darker in game than it is here it doesn't look that dark but once you get into the different lighting you just don't want to end up with clown makeup boys oh, i always forget that you have to redo man that's such a pain if you change the skin tone you have to redo the makeup why just why it's terrible oops i didn't mean to do that okay bear with me this will be faster the second time around Oops, too far. And okay, I like that. That's nice. I think that's everything. Here we go. Our story begins with an ending. As you decide, it's time to leave the city behind. Yearning for a pause from life's responsibilities, you arrive at a familiar place. A quick stroll along a nearby path leads you to a spot where, as a child, you found that life was simpler. And with a touch of imagination, all your dreams would come true. Finding the perfect place for a rest, you begin remembering these long lost dreams and drift off to sleep. Are my spectacles enchanted or might you actually be real? Of course I'm real. I don't know, are you? What kind of question is that? Okay, I feel like this is a bit antagonizing. If he really doesn't know if he's really not, if he if he's really questioning his identity, it's kind of it's kind of mean to say that. And same thing here. So I guess it's number three then. Oh dear, you must be dreadfully confused. I am now. I'm afraid you'll have to excuse me. I haven't met anyone in ages. Ahem. <laughs> Welcome to Dreamlight Valley, my friend. Dreamlight Valley. This place is strangely beautiful, sort of creepy, awfully mysterious. I feel like I could explore this place forever and still not find all of its secrets. Yes, the valley is full of mysteries. Ooh, squirrel. But there was a time when it was also filled with magic and wonder. Oh, but I haven't introduced myself yet. You're no doubt wondering who I am. Duh, you're Merlin. Bit presumptuous. Um, you're some sort of wizard. I like that one. You're a very odd old man. That's just rude. Not just any wizard. I'm Merlin. I'm a soothsayer, a prognosticator. I have the power to see into the future. And I'm also quite skilled at alchemy and prestidigitation. Now that that's settled, there's the small matter of who you are. I feel like that's a little rude. Me? I'm Leah Lilia. Leah Lilia, huh? Well, the only way to get to Dreamlight Valley is to pass through dreams. So you must also possess great magic. Otherwise, how could you be here? Magic? Me? <laughs> no way. I don't know how I got here. Oh, uh, yes. Great magic. I don't know. I just closed my eyes and drifted off, and all of a sudden, I was here. Magic had nothing to do with it. Quite the contrary. Magic had everything to do with it. In fact, I'm quite certain that you're the one we've been waiting for. You're going to save Dreamlight Valley. What can I do to help? What's in it for me? Save it from what? That's just greedy. Okay. A wise question indeed. 
After all, a problem can't be solved until it's understood. If we're to restore the valley to what it was, a place of magic, of wonder, of friendship, we need to stop the forgetting once and for all. We must, we must. He feels super strongly about this. He's waving his cane around. Um, I'm sorry, I can't seem to remember what we were talking about. The forgetting? Ah, yes, the forgetting. You'll have to forgive me, but now you can see where it gets its name. All right, listen closely and I'll tell you the tale before I forget again. Dreamlight Valley used to be a cheerful place full of happy villagers. Life was flourishing here thanks to our ruler's magic. Until our ruler vanished and the forgetting began. Our memories faded. The valley became a shadow of itself. We tried to save our memories of the life that it had been. As I can see into the future, I knew that someday someone would come to help restore the valley. Tell me more about the forgetting. Yes, yes, of course, let me see. Well, when our ruler left, the sky turned dark. Then those horrid night thorns infested the village, spreading everywhere like a bad thought. The more the night, blah, 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 the more night thorns that appeared, the more clouded our memories became. Why, sometimes I can't remember the faces of all the friends I've lost, or the names of all the spells I've forgotten. Maybe if we get rid of the night thorns, your memories will return. Your friends will come back. The magic of the valley will be stronger than ever. I would be more concerned about my friends. I hope he is too. <laughs> Get rid of the night thorns. Hmm. Now there's an interesting thought. Indeed. Tell me more about the missing ruler. Well, now all the wonder and magic and friendship in this valley came from our ruler. They watched over the village and kept us safe from dark magic. But one day they started to act different, though I can scarcely remember it now. And then our ruler simply vanished. It's been years, I think. I've lost all track of time because of the forgetting. Your ruler just up and left. Doesn't sound like a great ruler. It doesn't, but I don't feel like it's our place to judge. There must have been some reason, obviously. Maybe the forgetting made your ruler leave. Well, educated guess. That certainly seems logical, yes. The forgetting must be connected to our ruler in some way. If only I could remember how. I'm ready to help restore the valley. Let's go. Well, there's only one way to be absolutely certain you're the one destined to save Dreamlight Valley from the forgetting. He's long-winded. He just says the most that he can. It'll be a small test of your magic. You see, ever since the forgetting, I've been puzzled about this house blocked by the knot. Hmm. Come along, we'll investigate it together. Okay. What's it? Welcome to Dreamlight Valley. Our first quest. Get out of my way, Merlin. I've consulted my notes and discovered that Night Thorns began infesting Dreamlight Valley soon after our ruler disappeared. No one, not even I, can remove the blasted things. Only someone who can harness the magic of Dreamlight Valley will be able to. And I'm certain that someone is you, Leah Lilia. Of course, why else would I be here? Hmm. But I'm just ordinary. That's sad. How do I remove them? Magic is different for all who practice it. I would make a good quote for a tattoo. But all you need to do is focus your thoughts on the task at hand. That sounds too easy. Yes, let's do this. That's really peppy. Gross. It's all dirty. Like I said, it's not our place to judge and you can't be rude. It does sound too easy though. Perhaps it is. Or perhaps it's the hardest thing you've ever done. Only one way to find out. It kind of reminds me of Pascal from Animal Crossing. Tries to be so super deep. Feel the magic within yourself and say the magic word. This is a trick question if I've ever seen one. Abracadabra. Figatus figatus. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. He says higatus figatus. If you say anything but higatus figatus, I'm just saying. Yes question. Haha, I'll take that as a compliment. I knew that you would and that's why I chose that one. He's so happy. Aha, you've done it. Bravo, bravo. Thank you. Leah Lilia, this proves that you can harness the power of dreamlight magic. Well then, there's no time to lose. Let's go inside and see what's become of this house. Okay, let's go then. Ooh. Uh, uh, it needs some TLC. Oh dear, the night thorns have made their way inside the house too. That's strange. Suddenly, I can't remember why we came in here. Are you okay? Must be the knot thorns. This house must be important somehow. If this house is important, it has not been kept up like it's important. I'm just gonna go with that one. Precisely, being near so many of them clouds the mind. You must remove them before they consume more memories. Focus your magic once again, Leah Lilia. Don't tell me what to do. Easy enough. 
I'm actually going to save that one right there for last because it is the one that has the memory in it. Just makes sense. And we have our first memory, Mickey and Merlin. And you can already see the Nightthorns creeping in, infesting the valley. Terrible. Goodness. The glowing orb you pulled from the Nightthorn, it's a memory. It's like a fog has lifted and I can recall something of great importance. Mickey Mouse and I were at the Dream Castle and we left something there. Something important. Let's go find it. What was it? I want to see the castle. As you should, the castle is magnificent, though I'm afraid it's seen better days. If only I could remember what we left there. Well, we must go solve this mystery. But wait, there's something else returning to me. When our ruler left, the royal tools were lost, scattered throughout the valley. We must find them quickly. They're filled with ancient and powerful magic. The royal tools, if I could find those, then maybe I could help the valley learn more powerful magic. Solve the mystery of the forgetting. You have a pure heart, Leah Lulia. It's only through helping each other that we'll get out of this blasted mess. First, we must obtain the pickaxe. When the forgetting came and our ruler left, we found the pickaxe driven into a blotted stone in the plaza. Come to think of it, that was around the time the sky went dark and the night thorns overran the plaza. Oh, it's all a bit of a muddle, I'm afraid. No one's been able to lift the pickaxe from the stone, but then no one was you, Leah Lilia. And after all, it wouldn't be the first time someone pulled something from a stone and became a hero of legend. Pull the pickaxe from the stone in the plaza. Got it. Anything else? You must also find the other three royal tools. The shovel, the watering can, and the fishing rod. You'll need them for what's to come. That is, if you're staying here with us. Of course, for now. I just want to meet everyone. I feel like you're agreeing to permanently move into a house that belongs to a stranger that you've only met for the first time is a bit much on the first day. <laughs> but you don't want to be like mean either because that is a big gesture if it's done in goodwill i guess i think this one's just a safer option well there are a few villagers scattered about and others hmm well they'll need your help now more than ever who are the others of course you'll need a safe place to eat sleep and keep your energy up if you're going to help them so consider this house your home Maybe Ursula and Mother Gothel are like the others. It's got so much potential. It's a bit of a mess. It's so small. These are rude. You don't say that. It's got so much potential. Be grateful. As a spirit, just as a whispered word can conjurate magic, this house holds much promise. I agree. And in fact, I seem to remember that the ruler of Dreamlight Valley had a house like this once. Perhaps you'll do as much good for the valley as our ruler did. In fact, here's a little something to get you started. If you ever feel like you need a boost of energy, there's something in there that will fill you right up. Oh, thank you, kind sir. Now then, I'll be at the Dream Castle. You can find me there when you're ready. Well, then I'll see you there then. Welcome to Dreamlight Valley Complete. Okay. Marilyn, what did you give us? We got a chair, some apples, some cookies, and chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, chocolate chip cookies. I would suggest selling these. They go for a decent price, and you need money early on, or you need coins or whatever, gold early on so yes you can eat them and get energy but you could also just make the apples into like fruit salad or whatever or the or those like raspberries sell the cookies that's my advice that's what i'm doing and we have our next quest the royal tools okay now i'm gonna go ahead and take these i'm gonna put the apples in there for now i think and just store them let's see here a black polo shirt not a fan a red backpack it's cute simple cute <laughs>